YouTube, YouTube, YouTube videos. Hey, it's this box is right here. It's totally awesome. Spyderco, everybody knows that. Upside down logo. I'll give you the box upright. How about that? How about them apples? Alright, so you can't see the sticker, thank God. I honestly, ha I tore this out of a box. I still haven't opened it. I'm very excited. I'm going to put it on film so you guys can get my very first impressions, impressions of, bada bing, Spyderco Manix 2 G10. Let's see if it's uh, a little stiff, a little stiff. Got a spider edge knife, guys. Check that out, huh? Not everybody's doing it, but these are not exactly easy to get a hold of. A lot of people are sold out. Let's get this box out of the way, shall we? Oh, man, I just love the feeling of a new G10. Oh, man. New knife day, new knife day. Ooh, that was crisp, that first uh, unlocking the knife. That was crisp. So, Spyderco lockup. Amazing. I already felt it. Man. This knife has been just irking me to get one. Uh, there's a there's a big time knife channel. This guy he did a Manix 2 on a diet. I highly recommend you look up that video. If you search that, you'll find it. He took the liners out and made it just G10. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get a deal and a half on one of these. I picked this up for $72 shipped, and I could have got either Plain Edge or this one. But I went with serrated. I want to. I want to have a serrated knife. I uh, I wound up at work cutting Manila rope for the first time ever in my life, and I noticed how awesome the serrations on my Ontario Rat One were for that. And it really just was like the be all end all. Like th that was the same day I went home and ordered this knife. I finally actually bought it. it was because of that one random day that I will probably never have another day. Anyhow, this knife is coming to me in pretty much what seems to be awesome condition. Uh, I haven't really looked at it too closely. Obviously, I'm just doing this video right now. I love everything about it, though. I'm pretty much not going to lie to you. Spyderco is 154 cm on this one. Uh, I think that might be, mean it's an older one. There we go. I got it to flick out pretty good. The thumb hole on this is really big. I think this is the biggest thumb hole I've had on a knife. Interesting. Uh, I might be wrong. I might have to check some stats or something like that, but I don't feel like I'm wrong. Let's see. Uh, the way that this thing locks and unlocks is totally different feeling from normal Spyderco stuff, and I can appreciate that. I um, guess I'm not really being too entertaining with the the way it looks. I'm just kind of playing with it, seeing how it works. Um, I dig it. I like that a lot. The G10 texture is amazing. Grippy, yet refined and just very uh, adequate I want to say great texture it feels amazing I think I'm gonna try to put this thing on a diet myself I think that's kinda why I bought it is I've been wanting to do that project for about a year now I, I kinda wanted to pay the guy to do it for me but eh, it's more fun to do it yourself otherwise it's not my knife it's his knife that he sold me I love everything about this. I'm glad I finally got this thing. It's been in my mind's eye for a long, long time. Feels good to get it. Uh, let's do a little size comparison on this guy. Util Attack 1. It's a big knife. Feels big. This handle feels little. This is a little knife to me. It's a big handle. It feels like a big knife. Feels good. I like that. There's been just so many reviews about Manixes, the way the blade points, and the way you don't have to torque your wrist super high and everything. I just had to get one. I just couldn't stop myself anymore. And I found a place that had this. It's pretty good price, 72 bucks, you know, free shipping. And Spider Edge is kind of hard to find, so I just went ahead and bought it. I just said, why not? I can't stop myself. I have a sickness. I wish I could stop, but I can't. 
Everything about this knife seems totally holy. And if you can see that, centers very nicely. So that's typical Spyderco fashion. Everything seems super smooth. I just opened it like five, ten times and it just feels great already. The, uh, the lock is really nice and crisp right now. It's definitely not worn in. So at the very end of the as it's going into it as high as it can it really like uh... makes some serious metal contact up there i can feel it. it'll wear in nicely i'm sure uh... wish me luck uh... i hope that i can do half as well no to hell with that i hope i do just as good a job as the guy did i feel bad for not remembering his channel right now i think it has something to do with custom tacticals i might be wrong though uh, Yeah, I can't wait to start uh, start working on this project. Sounds uh, like the best fun I'm going to have. Later, YouTube.